Hello, welcome to my Vietnam video vlog. Um, I'm just gonna cut this into parts, like part one, part two, part three. I'm not gonna do much editing, it's gonna be mostly talking and just like enjoying the scenery around me. But there was a big problem. I lost about 10 hours worth of GoPro footage due to two corrupted SD cards. So I'm gonna have to do what I, I'm gonna have to do with what I have for now and hopefully it comes out decent enough. So enjoy my video blocks. We're hitting up Malaysian Airlines. It's probably the biggest flight in the world. Double decker, A380. Big bad boy, isn't it? Double decker. Card. Spiral staircase up there on in, inside with a bar. It's only for first class, so um, hopefully I'm gonna sneak in and well everyone to sleep and rub out the drink. There he is, the main man. It's gonna be a long fucking flight. Uh, probably an hour in. One hour, yeah. I'm sure to get a bit of sleep in so and, uh, I wanna go upstairs. I can't go up yet. I'm very agitated. I'm very agitated. I need to see upstairs. I need to see the place is closed. How would you rate the airplane field at 1 out of 10? How would you rate the airplane field at 1 out of 10? I'll give it a 7. What is it? 7 out of 10. It's actually nice for me. The airplane field gets a bad rep. It's actually really not that bad. It's like hospital field gets a bad rep. It's not that bad. Depends on who you're flying with. Exactly. We were flying out for every day. Before you end here. So we really have to talk about a funny situation on the plane on the way over Malaysian Airlines, the flight attendants, um, I was trying to get a tour off them of business class upstairs because of the double decker, um, I thought there was a bar and all on board but then I figured out there's no bar actually at all on board, um, it was Malaysian Airlines, I, th I think that's only with Etihad, um, so I was just going with the flow acting stupid, pretend I wasn't. I pretend I've never seen a plane before, even though I walk on the planes at the moment. Um, I wanted to see business class, but he wasn't allowing me to actually access business class. I thought it was going to be sound. Um, in fairness, I was just going with the flow. I shouldn't have got myself in this situation. Went into the, he brought me around, showed me the bed rests and all. I'm like, I went in. Uh, he's trying to explain, oh, we sleep here and shit. But as soon as you see in the footage, um, and then two other cabin crew lads come inside, I'm like, oh jeez, I treat them. Um, and they all try to chat me up. Fucking, oh. Why do I get myself in these situations? <laughs> I do want to get pictures now of me and all in, inside the bed rest. Like, treat them again, like, and there's me in a, in a bed bunker with three gay lads. I'm like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the sound like that, you know, I'm not, I don't swing that direction, I just, I'm just an easy going lad. <laughs> oh, stop. Can you take picture, like putting the camera here? <laughs> so we just got off the flight there, we're off the 14 hour flight. Uh, and we're in, where are we? Wallet Lumpa. Wallet Lumpa, yeah. Malaysia. And we're hitting Vietnam now soon enough on a tour flight. Uh, it's tiring and exhausting, but it's well worth the, the trouble. Wait for our visa to be processed. Oh, so honest. jet lag, like. I just want to get over here and get on the mail. I don't know how long I'm waiting now. How long are you waiting? 45 minutes? 50 minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> so as soon as you arrive, I want you to see. I recommend getting the bus because it's going to cost about 40 percent to District 1. That's the main area, that's where the hotel, all the hotels are along the back of the road. And on the right side, Carl lost his bag. The airline oh, wow. lost his bag. Yeah, so his bag's gone missing and they're going to deliver his bag to our hotel tonight. Race there for the whole day. That's what we have. What? Oh, they're not fucking faggots. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I think it's two single bears, man. Ah, oh, it is two single bears. It is, it's oh, separate. Yeah, but it's... Well, you don't want to sleep together, no? No. Well, I thought you were in that way between, no? <laughs> 
Look at the cues, you are. Fill up. Some good news! What's he got his bag? Yeah. Pork and Deloitte. Well, it's pretty fast transaction as well. Nothing worse than losing your bag, so so inconvenient. Anyway, it's real. Did you ever wash your ass with the with the hose in the bathroom? No, it's always a force. It's actually very good. Very hygienic. Very hygienic. Tell you know, man. <laughs> They're pretty good actually. Just give it a go. Oh, bro. So the food market was one of the main attract attractions in Ho Chi Minh City. The food was unreal, couldn't believe it. And then we finished the night off in this chill bar, the Sky Bar in Ho Chi Minh City. Whoa, the price is very extreme, extremely expensive. We paid 11 euro for Jack Daniels. I was like, what the fuck are we getting out here? Um, it closed a bit early as well. It closed about 2 a.m. And then you have Bagpacker Street. We didn't actually discover that yet. This is our first night. This is right beside a hotel. This, uh, this nightclub, Sky Bar. The view was spectacular. Amazing. Nice place for a uh, profile picture. So that's the end of day one, part one. I don't know how many parts it's going to be, okay.